Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. This time we would like to show you how you can use or control vertex maps with fields. Select your geometry and of course you can go to character and select your paint tool. But what if you want to start with an empty vertex map, then you simply go to select and click on set vertex weight. Click on OK and you've got a vertex map with zero influence. Red means zero, yellow means 100%. Now we click on the just created vertex map here and then we activate use fields. Choose one of the fields that you would like to try out. I try spherical field in this case and I make the spherical field smaller. And immediately you can see that the spherical field now paints the influence of the vertex map. Let's go even further. Let's add a displacer. Go to the Deformer menu and select Displacer. And then you make it a child of the body geometry in this case here. And now you go to the shading of the displacer and add a color. In this case, the standard color is white. And you can see the influences on the whole object. So probably let's change the height a bit from 10 centimeters to one. And now we want the spherical field to control the displacer. We do this by going to the displacer again, click on fall off, and then we simply drag and drop the vertex map into the fall off field. Now if we move the spherical field, you can see the influence is only where our spherical field is. But we can even go further. Let's go back to our vertex map and add a random field. You can see the influence already. And now if we set the random field from max, which is the standard, to subtract, you will have this effect. If you want to, you can also change the random field from mode random to noise, for example. And if we change the size here and change the noise itself, you see the influence immediately. But this is actually just scratching the surface of what you can do with fields and vertex maps. You can create stunning growing effects like this here. But this is another quick tip, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.